Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you what to do if you've just started with Dropify and need to migrate some of your products from your existing Shopify store into Dropify. So what we're going to do is go into our Shopify store over here and I've already set this up in a way that I have a product that has not been linked yet. So right now I have this product here uh, it's a it's a fake product listing. Uh, the product exists. This is a real product photo. But for for the sake of this video, I decided that I was gonna make sure that there's no possible way this could be linked already. So as you can see, I have the product photo here. I have a fake thing right here. So now once we go back to Dropified, we can go and look at our saved products. If you go to the connected, you can see that our super fun time game system is not in the connected because Dropified isn't aware that it's there. So what we need to do is go to the store name, mine is called the biggest easy, click on it, and then I can import from Shopify. So I'm going to press this button right here, and as you can see, one of my products right here, the super fun time game system, is here. So the supplier product link is something we have to go to AliExpress for. So I've already pulled it up right here. This is the product that these things came from. We copy and paste. Yep. Supplier product link. And it will automatically populate if this works. If not, you can always fill it in yourself. So we're gonna press save. Now the product is imported into Dropified, and now we can start editing it as we need. So as you can see, all of our description, the title, all of this, including the product photos, is all here. Now that way, the product that's in Shopify is linked to Dropified, and it will be all fully automated, just like every other product through Dropified. There's actually a way going through AliExpress that you can add the product to your store through Dropified that will link it that way. So say we have the same product in mind, I'm going to use the super fun time game system again, but I can actually go into AliExpress right here, and this is my product again. I'm going to use the Dropified extension. I'm going to, instead of sending it to my store, I'm going to save it for later. Then I'm going to view it in Dropified, which will take us directly to the product. And now, as you can see, there's a bunch of different options up here that we can edit later. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to go to Connections. So as you can see, this product is not yet connected. So I can connect it to my Shopify store by clicking the button right there and finding the product in the list of products. So the super fun time game system, I'm going to click on it. And that's all you have to do. It's super simple. And now we can go in and make sure that everything is correct, which it is. And we can go in and now we can actually look at the variant mapping, which means now we can look at all the different varieties we offer. So in Shopify, mine's gray, black, white, red, but in AliExpress, it might be a little bit different. So if we go back to AliExpress, we can look at the different variants right here. So I'm offering the gray one. So in AliExpress, it's called Gray Factory OS 16 gigs. So I'm going to have to type that in directly into my store. So I have to change it to Gray Factory OS 16 gigabytes. The black one. Black Factory OS, 16 gigabytes, and so on. So I'm going to save, and now we've brought our product over into Dropified from AliExpress, and we've also taken into account all the different variants. So now that we've successfully done that, you can go in and do this for all of the products that you had in your Shopify store that haven't been linked with Dropified. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.